This is an SU TV News Update, brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore. Wednesday, the cast of the 9 to 5 musical was in full costume. The band was present, but there was no audience. It marked the final dress rehearsal for the show that debuts Thursday in Festival Concert Hall. The musical, based on the popular movie from 1980, follows a similar plot of friendship and revenge. The three women take, uh, team up to take over their workplace, controlled by men offering plenty of humor along the way. The cast has been practicing for more than six weeks, but director Lori Horvick says final dress rehearsals are very important. The performance can be seen Thursday and through Saturday. I go, no, that's good because I had so much to respond to. You know, they were really performing and, and going full out. So then I could give them, you know, fix this little thing or fix this little part. And so it's just a lot of cleanup refinement so that it's that next level for the performance. The performance can be seen Thursday through Saturday with a matinee Sunday at two o'clock. Tickets can be purchased at the NDSU Theater box office. After making his appearance at the Shields Weather Kid for Valley News Live, William Hallman has become an internet sensation. With over 900,000 hits, his video has gotten the attention of many Hollywood celebrities. Tuesday afternoon, he appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show where he gave the weather forecast and had an interview with Ellen herself. William is just a nine-year-old from Robert Asp Elementary in Moorhead, Minnesota, but has become a national celebrity overnight. The annual career expo is coming up and, and there are some changes this time around. This year, the expo is two days and it is bigger than years past. Tune in to SUTV News tonight at 7.30 on Channel 84 to hear more about the big event. Tomorrow night, the NDSU men's basketball team will be play in their third event, third ever bracket buster game. The Bison will be on the road to take on the Zips of Akron. The Zips hold the nation's largest, longest current winning streak at 17 games in area, also 13-0 at home this season. The biggest hurdle for the Bison will be guarding the Zips seven-foot center, Zeke Marshall. The Bison are 2-0 lifetime in bracket buster games, including wins over Milwaukee and Western Michigan. Tip-off is at 6 p.m. Friday, and the game can be seen on ESPN2. Today's weather will be partly sunny tonight, mostly cloudy, and a chance of snow tomorrow. Saturday will be mostly cloudy with partly sunny weather on Sunday, a chance of snow on Monday and Tuesday, and Wednesday partly sunny. This has been an SUTV News Update brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore.